Hey guys, welcome to another one of our specific tutorials. In this video, we're going to be crossing Dark Simulacrum. Now, Dark Simulacrum is it's the most awkward and difficult spell, yet most overpowered spell in the game. Well, not in the game. For a Death Knight, probably. So, in this guide, I'm going to tell you how to use it effectively, so you're not stealing absolute bullshit. So, because uh, we want to be stealing crowd control. And, well, mostly we just want to be stealing crowd control, and that's why this ability is so overpowered, because we can steal 7 second crowd control, whatever it is, fears, polymorphs. And so I'm going to give you some macros and some help on how to use it properly. So, first of all, let's look at the spell and the glyph. Okay, so, places a dark water enemy for 12 seconds, and then the next spell that they use um, during that 12 seconds, you'll be able to steal it. Now, it's like a debuff. It, the debuff can actually be used for immunity effects, um, like, uh, what's it called? Cyclone, so you can use it whenever you want. The next spell that they cast, you will steal. You can steal um, a lot of things from PvP targets, not so much from raid targets. Um, I mean, I, you can steal Ice Block, Divine Shield, Blink, anything. There's pretty much everything. For certain classes, you can't steal um, everything from. I mean, so, uh, you can't steal anything at all from, like, Hunters, Warriors, Death Knights, or less Death Knights are using a Dark Simulacrum spell that they've stolen. Um, and also Rogues. So what the Glyph does is um, increases duration of the debuff on other targets and reduces the cooldown. Now, it is very viable to use this Glyph. Um, I don't normally switch out of it or less. I know I'm not going to be able to steal anything useful in the arena, so I'll switch it out uh, quickly to get something a bit better. But this is... A glyph you really want to be using a lot, um, especially when you get higher rated in 3s and 2s and all that kind of thing. So to use this spell effectively, you're going to need 4 macros. Yes, 4 macros for one single spell, okay? The first macro, basically just going to do it on your own target, here it is. And it's also a mouse over, just uh, just if you see someone casting something else, you can quickly put it on a mouse over if you can't use any of these other macros I'm going to give you. Which basically put a Dark Simulator icon on each of the arena players. Now I keybind to these, uh, keybind these um, macros to like um, associative keys, so I like, uh, you know, one, I know um, which arena player is, is going to, which macro is going to apply to each arena player. So that's something you need to be very aware of when you start arena. Now, when arena starts, you need to be looking at um, which kind of classes you really, you're probably going to be still the most useful things off, and perhaps put them on a focus so you can see their cast bar properly. Because the best way to steal crowd control is to be aware of when they are casting something. So, if you're instance druid casting a cyclone, bam, put that simulacrum on, and then use it. Now, there's a reason why using arena one, two, three macros is so much better than using it at target or and and at focus target. It's because um, well, here's the scenario. I'm just gonna uh, frame it as a scenario. Say, um, Gladiatorus, whatever SA, has just told me a druid's casting cyclone. No, let's let's better example. The mage is casting polymorph, right? So I'm right. Okay, okay, mage, mage is arena two. Okay, I'm gonna put, use my macro for arena two. There we go. I've stolen the polymorph. That's nice. Okay, now I'm gonna use arena macro three to immediately put it onto the druid. Okay. So it's kind of a more it's a more efficient way of using the macro instead of like okay I'm gonna click him now he's casting polymorph then gonna click off him and then click onto the druid and then cast it so you just do it at two simple keys so steal and then use on a different arena target for the most part you only want to steal crowd control because that's going to be the most useful bene uh, benefactor you're gonna um, receive from using uh, Dark Simulacrum, although you can steal other useful things like pain suppression and other defensive cooldowns, unfortunately you can't steal uh, offensive cooldowns, you used to be able to steal like Avenging Wrath and all that kind of thing, so but you can't do that anymore. So you need to use your other knowledge, your, your knowledge of other classes to kind of predict when a class is going to use a certain spell. For instance, if you put a mage in a stun, he's likely going to blink to get out of a stun. You know, just little things like that. So use knowledge of other, other classes, and if you know a lot about another class, you can probably benefit a lot if you know when they're going to use a certain kind of spell. So basically just use your general knowledge, use your logic to steal useful things because you really don't want to be stealing like a bloody fireball or a living bomb even the living bombs kind of useless you know shit like that you don't just be just stealing um like it sometimes heals are kind of useful but like kind of what's it called rejuvenation is actually quite helpful to steal but stealing from something like regrowth is just useless because it doesn't um scale with your mastery because well death knights aren't healers so you don't want to be stealing inexpensive shite you want to be stealing useful things like crowd control 
Alright fellas, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm not going to end with some bloopers. Instead, I'm going to end with some fucking epic steals that I've collected over the past uh, few weeks. Okay? And that's it for me. Uh, more tutorials will be released soon. Ciao.